Let's do some guess the eval. You've never done this before, yeah? Yeah, I've never done this before. That's so fun. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, awesome. So wait, let's move 25, yeah? So move 25. Yeah. It's black to play. Okay. So I don't know how you want to do. We could oh uh, what? So <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, I saw it and I was like, I don't know. They must have like signed a silent agreement to get to this position somehow because I don't know how you get into this position naturally. Yeah, I uh, think we got trolled. I, Nemo. I think we got trolled. I, I'm kind of curious. <laughs> the game started, but it feels like they set this up quite literally. It feels like it feels like they were they were they just decided they were gonna go for it and that's totally fine i think they just decided uh, that they were gonna send this to guess the eva and they play this game i didn't really look at the games i just picked the first five that i saw <laughs> but anyways yeah, that's that's fine okay so guessing the eval here oh man oh okay what is it? it's black to move where is the king i guess the king is a bit safer on a7 I just realized that white also just has exactly the initial starting position. Oh man, that's crazy. That's true. But like moved up like three, four ranks, you know? Yeah, whereas black doesn't have that. I kind of feel like black's position feels like it's structurally like more ramped up for an attack, you know? Because I'm looking at moves like E5 by black right now. I'm like, the king is in the center of the board. So what do you want to do? You want to you want to go for an you want to go for an attack in the center. You want to open up the center. Yeah, I think the king is like the main factor here. Like if the king was on mm -hmm. like, I don't know, A1 or like H1 or H2 or something, it feels like it wouldn't be like, you know, then it would be really different. But I agree. I think that this must be a little bit better for black. The thing is, why can always play moves like B5 as well? You don't really have to counter something like that. So, ooh. yeah, like the rook is also an A3, right? So it's also in the same file as the as the king. Yeah, definitely. If you think about it that way, the rook on E7 is also lined up straight towards the king. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This is such a weird position. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, I was, like, expecting normal games where I was gonna be like, oh, this person has an isolated pawn and the knight can, like, attack it in three moves and we'll you're able to two. block, like, the d5 square. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> this is fine, too. I think it's about equal. I think maybe it's, like, a minus 0 0.5 or something like that. I, I don't think it's, like, a huge one. Like, maybe a zero, minus 0 0.7. I'm gonna go with minus 0 0.7. I also feel like white's pieces are a bit better though. Like, look at the knight on h7. It's so hard to say. I feel like it's a complete, like, RNG, which one is going to be correct. Because also, like, the king, I feel like it's pretty fast on going to, like, I don't know, like, h2. Like, the white king on going to, like, h2. Mm -hmm. And then if they can do that, then there's, like, no rook on the h file. And then maybe white can get a better attack on the king side. I still feel like the breakthrough, just because it's Black's move, I feel like mm. the tempo matters so much. Like, if you can play e E5 this move, mm. and then, like, White has to basically do something, right? I mean, you definitely don't want E takes F4 happening, because if you bring your king no. out to F4, it can get kind of risky. So, yeah, it's like, it's you have to play F5, yeah, I don't know, and then you can play maybe D5, and then all of a sudden you have, like, something going on there. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, engines do like adva uh, space advantages, though. So that's kind of a good point that white pawns are on the fourth and black pawns are on the sixth. But I still feel like, I don't know. I just feel, I feel uneasy about white's position. <laughs> yeah. So do you want to go for you saying that black is better and I'm going to say that white is better? I believe more in white's okay. position. <laughs> but this might you be You like white's wrong. position more? I do. Oh my gosh. I like the space. Okay. Okay, and... I'm gonna go with black sweater. All right, I like this. It's a 50-50, Yeah, right? so how much do you want to say? I think I'm gonna say, like, plus 0 0.8. Okay, I'm going with minus 0 0.7, so we're, like, exactly <laughs> on the other ends of this. I'm kind of excited, though, to see what this is. Oh, I'm sorry. oh my gosh. You were right. It was minus 0 0.80. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did you see that? At first, it was minus yeah, 0 0.80. Yeah, I did. You were right. Yeah, it's E5 just is just E5. good. <laughs> E5, well, F5. E5, F5, and then E takes D4. Yeah, I was going to say, this king looks a little sketch. Yeah. Obvious and then theory. <laughs> Obvious theory. Okay. Obviously. I have faith yeah. in this position for white, but yeah. You're the WGM Nemo. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, I feel like it was a 50-50. Like, I know I say that kind of ironically because it's a joke, but like, it's also a 50-50 because who the fuck knows? No. I'll get into this position. <laughs> this is the most stage game I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, I don't think I've seen a more stage game than this ever. 
Black to move off to move 14. There we go. So there we go. So knight, knight f7. Oh, this is kind of crazy. Okay. So, so what is the material? Oh, this is like a legitimate game. Black is two pawns up right now, but we have the fork. Yeah, white's king is kind of exposed. Queen h4. I mean, I think queen h4 is probably like black's only real option here. Yeah. I would say. I honestly think after white takes the rook on h8, black doesn't have that much attack after, but I, I could also be really wrong because I like to think my opponents don't have an attack and then to my surprise, they actually have an attack. Oh, yeah. I have learned to like give a little bit more credit to my opponents. My automatic assumption of my opponents is always that they're Pega. <laughs> <laughs> just like, there's no way their attack will work, and then it doesn't turn out that way. I don't see anything for black here. Yeah, well, queen h4, knight takes h1, queen ta sorry, rook, knight takes h8, queen takes h8. Um, I guess, can then, you go g3? Ooh, that's a good suggestion. Then that would be a draw, right? If you could. If you could just go g3, it would just be a draw. But maybe you don't even want the draw after g3. After h takes, queen takes, king h1, queen h3 check, king g1, queen takes e3 check. Maybe you don't even want to draw anymore. Maybe you can like bring your other knight in. Dude, I, I'm so close to like just guessing it as 0, 0, 0. Because that would mean it's a draw. Like the perpetual might be the best line. Because I think it, there's no way that white can be better in this position, given that black at least has a draw. Yeah, exactly. So, so we went from saying that white is probably just winning to you know something completely else. So queen h4. Yeah, like at least equal. I think I'm finding a move, but I'm not sure. I mean, I was looking at like rook f4 and stuff, but no, after g3 you can't play bishop f4. You have queen h2 checkmate. <laughs> Somebody has that was the move I wanted to do. That was the move I wanted to do. What you wanted to do? Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh no, you wanted to play Bishop F4? Oh god. I wanted to go Bishop F4. So I, I mean I mean let's okay, don't worry. In the next in the next patch of chess, we're gonna make the bishops be able to jump over pawns. It's okay. Um Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, Nemo. It has to be at least equal. You're saying that it's equal, yeah, zero point zero zero. I actually don't know because I'm looking now at Queen H4, Knight H8, G3. Rook to f4. <laughs> and like queen takes h2, king to f1, queen h1, yeah, bishop g1, g2 check. For example, king to f2, queen takes h8. I, I don't know. Maybe black still has something to play for there, but I do think it's probably 0, zero, zero. Like, I think the draw is probably the best option in real game. I'd probably play honest black. It's kind of like what I'm trying to say here. No, wait a minute. Okay, queen h4. There's also bishop f4, just defending the h2. Pawn. No, but then we take on h2 and it's checkmate. <laughs> but, but queen h4 immediately, bishop f4. Like, without rook take, oh, knight takes h8, you can just go bishop f4. I thought you meant and can't take the knight. No, 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 we're not going, we're not going over like that again. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No, no, no. I, I don't know, this is so tough. It is ah, tough. This is, this is so tough. Okay, I think it's a little better for black, so maybe like a minus one. We'll go with minus one. I, I like this for black too, I think. I think I'm going to go for mm -hmm. that black is better. Like, I'm not finding the exact way for black to win, but like, it just feels like even with the rook of four line, like, it just feels like black has so much compensation. And like, black already yeah. like has two pawns as well. Hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just go with, yeah, I'll go with minus 1.5. Minus 1.5 sounds accurate enough for me. Okay. That's my final answer. Not changing it anymore. Well, okay, I'm going to say, actually, I'm going to say minus 2.2, I think. I think that black is better. Oh, all, right. all right. Analysis time. Yeah, you're right. Minus 1.5. Yeah, oh, I it, was minus 1. 5? it was minus 1.5. It was minus 1.5. Yeah, it was actually, that was actually so good. That was actually so good. Yeah, it's exactly minus 1.5. This is the position. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. This is crazy. I mean, there's a really cool tactic here for white, right? Which is queen b5, queen b7. Yeah, this is so what I'm thinking. So after that, you gotta... Yeah, rook takes d1. It's at least like a plus 2.6. I'm gonna go with two plus 2.6. But can the king go to like d8 or something? Um, oh, oh, no, there's queen, oh, queen a check. Like, 
you're thinking of like queen b5 king c8 queen b7 king yeah B8. but then there's queen a8 check uh, i guess yeah, and then you take the bishop and it looks really good this has to be really winning for white yeah you know what i'm gonna guess plus five for white plus five okay <laughs> i'm i'm going big but i don't know i feel like sometimes the engine in these end games if they think that it's winning they can just like like really like turn it up that's true the engines are weird evals when it's like because you can't just go with like oh you're up an exchange plus a pawn and make it like 2.6 you're actually completely correct about that it's like oh you're winning it's plus 10 for some reason here i'm going for plus five i think yeah okay i'm gonna still lowball it and say plus 2.6 all right let's do it sure. this is a quick right. one analysis you're correct it's plus five Yay! Nice. Oh, Maybe there we go. Five. Yeah, yeah, it is plus five. <laughs> Yay, awesome. Ooh, okay, so equal material, but white just looks really good from like an initial, initial look. Oh, it's black to move. Oh, I thought it was white to move. I was thinking 96, but it's black oh. to move. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Queen to h6 looks like a pretty good move, which is what was played in the game. I think yeah. the guy's mistake. Queen g4 is probably a mistake, though. Probably had to go queen to h3. Yeah, so queen h6, threat is to go queen h4. Oh, what about h5 for black, though? h5 followed by h4? Yeah, to then go, like, g4? No. Yeah. Then I guess there's queen takes. Yeah, I think this is, like, a plus 1.2 for white or something. It's probably something re like ah, uh, but it's also equal material. You know what? I take that back. I don't even know if white's better. It just looks like white's gonna promote, but or like has like ninety six, like you saw. But queen h six, oh, queen h three. But yeah, queen h six. You just have queen h three. I think that's totally fine. And then the pawns are just gonna be super strong. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go all in minus ten. <laughs> oh Someone my god, minus, minus 10? 10? <laughs> Whoa, what do you see here? <laughs> Captain Ketchup. Someone's really yeah. confident. You either gotta go all in or go home, right? So they just went all in. <laughs> the question is if there's any immediate thing for black, because like all end games, it feels like white is just winning. So the, qu the real question is just does black have any checkmate or like any attack? And if they don't, then I think white yeah. is just winning. I think it's like a plus 1.2 or something like that. Or like plus 1.7 nah 1.2 i feel like black has so much counterplay <laughs> even if i don't see it i feel like the engine thing can see for white for black that there's counterplay what if like rook takes a2 just like straight up rook takes a2 yeah you just straight up rook takes a2 because you go rook a3 check um, but what about 96 so 96 rook a3 check <gasps> and then the queen is coming in maybe Wait, wait, what if you don't even play rook a3 check? What if you just play queen h6 straight away? Because it's not like we're really threatening anything with 96. Oh, yeah. Take an exchange. Yeah, well, the exchange doesn't matter. And then we have like queen h2 check. Yeah, that was my idea to just go queen h6 at some point. But okay, yeah, maybe it's better to just go immediately. It looks like black could get some counterplay. This is a really good game because it's just so complicated. I don't really like rook f2 because rook takes f2, rook takes f2. Uh, There is like queen to e5 check. Yeah. And then you're dropping e4 pawn and stuff so probably have to play still like rook to f3 queen h6 and then rook f2 no but then there's queen h4 of course yeah no so maybe then rook f rook takes a2 rook f3 queen h6 and then queen h3 yeah if so if you play that do you think the pass pawns are like strong enough like what if they played rook c rook c8 after the swaps and then you, oh, I guess I have rook c6. But then it's like, am I even winning <laughs> to play rook c6? Tough, tough, tough. I don't know. My evaluation starting to move more in black's favor. I actually think it might be better for black now. So rook c2 maybe is better than rook takes a2. Yeah, that's right. Just threatening c4. So it's black to move. Yeah, we're looking at, at knight a, knight a6. But then the idea was to go queen h6 and just bring the, bring the queen in. Cause... Oh, but maybe rook c2. We have queen to a4. Ah, uh, but there's still, uh, and then there's like rook to c3, I guess. Two minutes after rook f3, like I don't know how queen takes f6 is, but there is that option too. Yeah, queen f6 works for sure. Actually, that just wins the rook because like we're defending the rook. Yeah. But yeah. Oh my gosh, this eval! I'm like, I'm about to go for like a minus. I was gonna say minus one point two. Okay, I'm gonna go a little further than that. Then I'll say minus one point like 
1.7. No, minus 1.7 again sounds too much. Like, too much. Like, there's no way Black's that winning. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go with minus 1.7. My favorite number is 7. I like 7. No, I think <laughs> that Black, that, like, the engine is gonna find something for White. Like, I think that in a practical game, I think that this actually gives a lot of chances for Black. Like, I would love to play this with the Black pieces in, like, a game. But, like, I feel like the engine is gonna find a way of, of defending um somehow so i think i'm gonna say minus 0 0.8 or minus 0 0.9 minus okay. 0 0.9 i'm gonna say 0.9 all right all right are you ready i'm ready yeah um, oh this is like the moment of truth minus 2.15 oh my God. It is my yeah mine is showing one minus 1.9 but i might not have it on oh mine yeah it's minus, minus 2.3 2. it was that good yeah rixi 2 is the move yeah, yeah Rexy 2 is the move. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. It is apparently quite winning for Black, but you do have to spot Rexy 2, so it was, it was tough. That was tough. Move 20 after Bishop E5. Yeah, there we go. So move. Yeah, exactly. There we go. I'm going to put my classes. Um, Nemo. Uh, yeah. I have the evil on head of mistakes. So I'm just going to let you do this. Oh one. no. <laughs> oh so no. <laughs> It's okay. It's all right. I literally it's didn't fine. realize. All right, until I'm chat gonna make a really me. fast guess. I'll just make a really fast guess. Uh, is it white to move? It's white to move, right? It's white to move. I I did not see it. So just give me like like two minutes, and I'll, I'll give you like an eval. Don't rush. I want to hear your thought process. Okay, this is just gonna be better. I don't even want to hear my own thought process. I just want to hear yours. Just just tell me everything. <laughs> Either I'm like uh. Um, Tell me everything. What are you thinking, Nemo? All your thoughts. <laughs> uh, well, I, I have a pair of bishops. I probably don't want to swap it off. So uh, I want to move my bishop maybe to like a3 so I don't have a trade-off. It feels like it's getting traded off regardless. But I really don't want to play bishop takes e5 because then, then he's going to get the knight onto e5. So I want to say this is like maybe a plus 0 0.2. <laughs> if that. Maybe a plus 0 0.2. I think z plus 0 0.2 is pretty accurate. It's completely even material. Nobody has anything to play for. If we move our bishop back, the knight's under attack. And then you can play something like queen to f3 followed by queen to h3. And then you can put some attack on the e6 pawn and stuff like that. Oh, but the bishop might get stuck. I'll probably find you have B4. Yeah, I'll go with like plus 0 .0 0 0.2. Wait, am I missing a tactic? Now that's the real question. Oh my! It looks like there's a big tactic that I'm missing, actually. <laughs> no, missing I, just wanted to, I just wanted to put pressure on you, <laughs> Okay, okay, but like, I, I totally miss bishop c7 because he can't play queen takes c7, but ah. Then I have bishop takes e6, and then I have queen takes d7. If I go bishop to c7, he has queen to c6. Well, he can also play bishop takes c7, queen takes d7, but that looks better now. Okay, my, my answer is like slowly creeping up. And if he goes queen c6, I have bishop to d5, I think. All right, I'm going to go with plus 1.5. Plus 1.5. You're amazing, Nemo. Oh, was it exactly plus 1.5? It's really plus 1.5. <laughs> oh my god. Well, chat gets really close too. Chat gets 1.78. So we all won. That was a really, really good guess, guys. That was an amazing guess. I should have thrown in my Are You Sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have just let me get it completely wrong. I totally missed Queen, like Bishop C7. And I was like, oh my gosh. How did I miss that, you know? No, it's really now nice. We do take those.